Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. I'm a wildlife artist. Welcome to the draw inside of my studio. And today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I thought I'd do a comparison, a review, on two of the most popular charcoal pencil brands out there at the moment. So we've got Derwent, and they're a UK based company. And I've also got Generals, and that's a USA based company. So they both claim that they've got really smooth and dark textures with the charcoals, but I thought I'd try and find out for myself. So I've set up a little study area where I can try each of the, the levels out. They all got a different range of darkness. And in particular, I want to see how well they blend as well and how they compare against each other. So let's see how they both got on. Okay, so I've got three different types of pencils, two of which are charcoal, one graphite. And I've got the graphite just for comparison, really, because charcoal gives a much different appearance on paper. Um, the first lot is Derwent Charcoal, so that's a UK-based company. They've been manufacturing since 1832, according to their website. The second lot, then, is the General's Charcoal, so that's a USA company, and they've been going since about 1889. And then, once again, it's Derwent, and that's just your standard graphite. Now, the General Charcoal, they go hard, soft, extra soft, and things like that and they've also got the um, numbers on there like 4b 6b and 2h so that's just standard type of numbers the Derwent though they go light medium and dark and as far as I can see there's only three in their range the normal graphite pencils then they go from you know, you know your normal 8h to 9b and, and that type of thing Okay, so the paper I'm using, it's Winsor & Newton Bristol Board. So that's a really extra smooth surface. Probably not the best surface for charcoal, but I wanted to show the blending effect and a really smooth surface is going to show us how much these pencils can blend. So I'm going to try and do it fairly scientifically just to make a comparison between these different types, especially the Derwent charcoal and the general charcoal because with general charcoal is USA based as I said so I've got to import that or it's much more difficult to find online. The Derwent is available everywhere and it's the first charcoal pencil I started using but I was noticing that when I was drawing and especially doing large areas I was noticing quite a bit of hard charcoal every now and again in the pencil which give a real scratchy feel and it was even scratching the paper which I didn't particularly like so I wanted to try some other types especially the general because it has such a good reputation online just as a comparison to see if they all do this so I thought I'd start off with using the light in the Derwent and if I just go as lightly as I can with it and then I'll push a bit harder. You've got to watch with charcoal pencils. You push too hard, you're going to break them. So that'll give you a bit of a range. Just blow that away. And then I'll do the same with the medium. As light as I can go. So you can see, even when I'm going really super light, I can't make it light as you would with a graphite pencil. And I'll go really dark at the bottom just done that by mistake put that dark there right and then I'll go to the darkest one of all and try and go very lightly so you can see it's even dark as I'm going super light with my hand pressure there and then that's as dark as it goes okay so we leave those there and go across to the generals so that's soft soft 4b so we we'll go with 2h hard to start with so that should be as lightest now immediately that starts that's feeling like a normal pencil to me like a graphite pencil almost it doesn't feel much like a charcoal not like the Derwent Jess felt but they felt quite 
gritty really this feels much smoother and it's easier to make that very light mark as well and this fe it feels almost like a cross between a pencil and a charcoal so that's the hard 2H so the 4B soft right now that feels straight away like a charcoal again but it actually feels smoother than the Derwent I'm really trying to go as light as I possibly can. That's the lightest mark I can make. And I'll go darker and push hard. So that is really dark. And then use the 6B so it's extra soft. And you'll really feel how soft that is. So I see how light a line I can make. Then I'll push harder. There. So just out of interest now then, I'll try some graphite just to show you the different appearance. So this is just standard 4H. So I can take it almost from virtually no mark at all. And then I'm pushing hard. And that's as hard as I go. No matter how many times I go over it, it's not going to go much darker than that. And then I'll go to a 4B. So this is quite dark in the range now. That's as light as I can go. And push harder. And then I'll finish off with an 8B. You can hear the different sound of the pencils and the charcoal on the paper as well. You can see the pencil, the graphite pencil is a much smoother feel. Okay, so you notice as well that on the graphite, this is really reflecting the light. As I'm looking down on it, I can see a real shine by there with the light at this angle, and that makes drawing darks difficult and that's one thing I really always didn't like about graphite this shine that you get from the bounced light you can see with the charcoals they're not doing that at all they're a real matte medium okay let's see how these blend so if I make what I think I'll do I'll do a small square push in hard underneath so that's the light, medium, and dark on the Derwent, and then we need two H. I don't really like this two H feel much at all in the generals. It's just doesn't feel smooth like a carbon or a, a charcoal and it doesn't feel um, you know like a pencil at all either it's in the middle so this is the 4B soft that's a much nicer feel and then the 6B extra soft okay now what I wanted to do then and I might as well, just out of interest, do the, the graphite as well. Just get them in quickly. And the 4H. Okay. Now, I'm going to blow those surfaces off. Just so we're not contaminating anything and I wanted to see how much these blend when I drag them down so I was going to use my normal stumps like these but I would to, to do it right I'm gonna to have to have a brand new stump each time so there's no cross contamination so what I'm gonna do instead is use some 
kitchen tissues they're just rolled up and I'm going to do say three wipes in there hard and then drag it down so that's the light on the door end I'll get a clean piece of tissue it's a medium That's the dark. So they're blending quite well. You see how that doesn't blend out like the light on the door went. And that's that hardness I felt in the surface. It has blended, but you can see there that the edge has been lost and there it's really still got that distinctive edge to it. Okay, another clean piece of tissue. Let's try this 4B soft, see if it blends any better. Yeah, that's blending better. That's more like charcoal I would expect. And the extra soft. Now you can see a real difference between the dark in the Derwent, which is really the equivalent, I would have thought, as the 6B Extra Soft in the Generals, but it's really behaving, in my opinion, more like the 4B Soft. So with that Derwent, unless they make an extra dark or something, which I don't think they do at this time, the darkest I can go, or the best blending, would be equivalent to a 4B Soft with the generals so just out of interest now let's see what would happen if I tried to blend a graphite so the 4H it's just smudged it a little bit virtually nothing virtually nothing is on the tissue I'll get a clean piece all the same 4B Again, nothing hardly, and then the 8B. So that really shows the difference now in mediums. You can't really compare the charcoal with graphite. It's a completely different medium, although they look similar in pencils. They're encased in wood, but other than that, they're not behaving in the same way. They don't look the same. You can see this reflect in the light. If I move the paper, you may, may actually see the light reflecting on it possibly whereas the charcoals are really matte okay so let's see now the type of marks that I can make if I can make some fine lines with this light derwent you can hear that as well and you can do fine lines. So I select use the medium. And there's a big difference in softness between those two. I can really feel that on the paper surface. And look how quickly that pencil is going blunt. And then the darks, we're starting off is sharp on that edge. And that's starting to go blunt now as well. But it's kept his shape a bit more. Okay, the generals, 2H. So that is able to produce a lighter mark. It's much harder. You can see how even though I'm pushing quite hard, it's still keeping its point but the problem with it is it doesn't blend hardly at all if you want it to blend if you don't want it to blend it will keep the keep the edge so then the soft 4b I'll use the sharp edge now what I like about that is that it's keeping 
it's not wearing down very quickly at all it's nice and dark and it seems to be darker than these and it blends well now the 6b extra soft i'm going to expect that to wear down quickly and it really is extra soft We're almost every stroke that's really wearing down but it's superb at blending be superb for backgrounds and soft backgrounds the graphites as you would expect you can keep that very fine mark going for a long long time but it's nowhere near as dark as this no matter how, how hard I push and you can hear this it sounds really like a, a scraping noise now Okay, so that's interesting. There is a big difference. The Derwent Light, all the Derwent range blend quite well. The General 2H Hard, it is hard, as it says, and it doesn't blend hardly at all. It will give you a nice dark glow all the same, but it doesn't really blend. But the softness really comes in. I think the most versatile pencil here out of all of them would probably be that 4b soft it holds the edge it holds the mark it doesn't it's not too soft it blends really nicely it gives you a superbly dark black and then if you want to really blend that out then the 6b extra soft is much softer i haven't noticed any um roughness or hard particles in the pencils either the Derwent or the Generals as I've been using them today but without a shadow of a doubt when I was using the Derwent when I completed a, a lemur lately I did two of those and I did have points in the pencil where there was hard particles and it wasn't easy to draw with them at all and I had to use a little bit of sandpaper just to give it a quick wipe over a quick rub over like that and that got rid of the hard particle and then i was away to go again whether or not the generals has got that in it too i'm not sure at all time will tell and then i'll do an update on this video to to say that so i'm just going to see if using any razor i can i can lift any of these charcoals um they're not known for being able to lift them back to pure white to be honest but i'm just going to see if if there's a difference between the brands in lifting so let's start with the generals and this is quite a hard edged eraser so i'll just go in and try and do a line down the middle of it get rid of the excess there and go through again okay that lifted quite a bit actually Clean that edge. Okay, so we we're going down to roughly the same amount of whiteness back to the, the paper, I'd say there. Even though it looks like that one, that one's lifted more. It's just started off darker. So let's try the Derwent. well do the graphite just for interest out of comparison it's 
So you can see there that the, the graphite lifts much better, much more fully. The generals then is lifting. I wonder if I've done enough by there. And it, it does appear that the Derwent doesn't actually lift as well, not the dark anyway, quite as well as the general. I assume it's because that one is really soft, so it's lifting a bit more. The dark is really very similar to the 4B soft in generals, the darker the Derwent. And there's not a massive deal of difference, great deal of difference between the two lights other than that blending where the Derwent actually blends better than the um, general 2H art. So I hope you found this interesting. There's another type of pencil that would be good to compare against it as well and they are carbon pencils. So I'll try and do that in future and I'll also do a, a feature on erasers and uh, also sharpeners as well. So I hope you found that useful and I'll see you all again real soon. Hope you've enjoyed that video and if so I got lots more on my YouTube channel and don't forget the only way not to miss out on any new videos is to click the subscribe button. On my website I've got full length feature videos, I've got reference photo CDs and ebooks and also the new Easy Trace Line Art too. So hope to see you either on my YouTube or my website jasonmorgan.co.uk. See you all again real soon.